Hello Level friends, we've got some awesome updates in level 12.26 to share with you today. From supercharging your lazy collections with a heartbeat to making your chasing prettier than ever. Let's go! First, we've got the two pretty chasing method which does exactly what it sounds like. It makes your chasing outputs prettier and easier to read by using the JSON pretty print flag on the JSON encode method. Thank you, Wendell. Then let's also chat about the new with heartbeat feature in Lazy Collections. For this example here, I'm loading a CSV file with 1000 users. And the way that I'm doing this, by the way, that's pretty cool, is with the lines method of the file facade. So what this will, what this will create is a Lazy Collection. And then I can iterate over all those items lazily, which is pretty cool. Currently, I'm just skipping over 990 of them, so it doesn't take too long for this example. And then for each of those items, I create a new user. Let's run this. This should only take a couple of seconds. Here we go. And here we see that we now have 11 users inside the database. But of course, you can imagine if I'm only skipping one, which is the header of the CSV file, then this will take way longer. And for such long running processes, it's often needed to run some periodic maintenance task. And this is what we can do with a new method called with heartbeat. So the first thing you need to provide is an interval. Let's use a carbon interval and let's make this seconds. And let's say we want to run this every five seconds. And then we have a callback. Let's create here a new anonymous function here. And now we can define what should happen every five seconds. For now, I'm just dumping out a little heartbeat here. And I'm skipping again, maybe 950. So we're now iterating over 50 rows so that it doesn't take too long. And now let's take a look what happens now. And fair enough, the heartbeat method was only run one time. Maybe let's try again now. Let's, let's just skip 900 records. And now we showed it a couple more times. Let's give it another try. Now this took almost 20 seconds and that's why we see that our function here was called four times here before we see the final output, which is pretty cool. So this means we now have a method that runs periodically and you can do some stuff in there. The use case that came with the peon, which we also have here in the docs, is where you want to manage your cache lock. So we're saying here we want to lock this for a specific period of time and then with the heartbeat method we're going to extend it for another five minutes and then when everything is done, we can release it again. And yeah, this is one way you can use the with heartbeat method on lazy collection, but I'm also very curious about the use cases that you come up with. So please let me know about them in the comments as well and have fun with this new lazy method. Thank you, Joseph. Before we wrap up, a huge thank you to all you, the contributors out there who keep making level better and better with each release. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more level goodness. See you the next time. Bye.